Hey and welcome, uh, my name is Michael Van Breda and this is going to be the nice hash miner tutorial. I've had a few people ask me on how to set it up and I just thought I'd make this video uh, just to give you guys a little basic understanding of how I set it up for my Radeon cards but you could set it up the same for GTX 1070, 1080 in the video cards as well. I, it will work for the same. So what you need to do, if it doesn't work, then what I'll do is I'll post another link that you can then download the dual Claymore Miner and then you just change the settings on it to work for GTX cards. But I'll just show you how I work. So what I'll do is I'll post a link below, which will be for um, what it would be for is this here. So the link I'll post is for Nice Slash Miner version 1.7 another link that I will post below is for this year the Claymore Dual Ethereum GPU miner with NVIDIA support so as you read here Dual miner offers both AMD and NVIDIA GPUs for both Linux and Windows binary only release so you can dual mine Ethereum and SIA or Decred at the same time or only use the miner for Ethereum mining using Windows Server recommended for NVIDIA cards all the way up to Maxwell and Windows 10 updates 64 bit only builds to it thorough. So, yeah, so there you got the 1080, 1070, 1060 on Windows 7, and obviously the AMD card. So, you click on this link here. But what I'll do is I'll copy this link above here, Crypto NVIDIA, and I'll post it in the video in the comments below. And then you can then download this Claymore Miner if NiceAsh doesn't work. And you can still use when you're on NiceAsh, if you go to four servers. So if I go to NiceAsh and I go, I want to sell power because that's what you're going to be doing. Click on GPU. Obviously you can download NiceAsh Miner. This one is a basic one. It's really good. But what people are finding is the excavator or something doesn't work. And I used it for a bit and it worked perfectly fine. Then all of a sudden it won't, it gets stuck when it tries to do that excavator. So I've gone back to the old one because I know the old one works very well. So I'm not saying this one's not good, but just for my setup, it just seems to be conflicting somewhere and I can't really work it out at the moment. I'm still checking it out. But for now, what you can still do is go on to, um, you can use Dagger Hish Motors for uh, Ethereum, Decred, got Sire. There's different here and you just choose your which country, generate the stratum and then it'll pick up. All you need is that in your Bitcoin address. So let's go back to the folder I got it in. So if I click on here, I go to my downloads. There's my nice hash miner, unzipped it. If I go to nice hash miner, say so run. So there it picks up my cards. So I've got a Radian RX 580 and an RX 480. If I, what I need to do now is click what's closest to me, so I'm in Europe, put in my Bitcoin address, so I'm going to use my NiceAsh one, because I can, I mean I, I've got a, a separate wallet, but I'm just going to use this one because it's easier, and then I can buy power if I want, or just withdraw, so I put my Bitcoin address in there, choose a worker name, so I'm just going to call him Bob12345, because it doesn't really think. I'm then going to click on um, settings and I'm just going to make sure everything's in there. Make sure the settings are found. Go to advance, everything's in there. Devices, I'm going to go on to my GPU radiant. So the ones that they've collected is Dagger Hype Shmito, Kryptonite, Equihash, uh, Pascal X11, and Equihash. So I'm going to leave those ones, just ones that they've ticked. I could tick others, but for now I'm just going to leave them. If you want to tick all the boxes, tick all the boxes, then go save and close. And what you need to do is click on benchmark, click on the cards you're going to use. I'm going to do quick because I don't want to be sitting here for hours. I'm going to benchmark selected and benchmark logarithms, benchmark all selected. So I'm going to do that one. So I'm going to benchmark those two cards. Going to start, and now it's going to benchmark. So it's got ten steps to go through. So let's just see what it does. The screen might go off and on and the cards might come on, you know, as it's working out what's the best the best setup and mega hashes you'll get for each card. So 
So now it's going to start benchmarking. So while it's benchmarking, I'm just going to go on to the leader going. As you can see, it's going to start going up there. When that gets to 10, I'll be done. So I'll leave that for now. This is a Claymore Miner dual. You could use that. So if I click on download, see what it does. Okay, yeah, so it's a dual miner 9 point, version 9.8. So what you do is click on um, either Google or Mega, depending on which one, download it. So let's go to Google Download. Might as well download and show you. I presume there's going to be a couple here. It's struggling with this benching. Okay, I'll just stop it for now. This is benchmarking. Um, okay, I'm going to stop. I'm not going to use my RX 580 because I'm using it for my computer. I'll just use this one. I'll just do one card for now because it's going to take too long doing the others. Just while I make this quick video because you guys can then. I've only got 15 minutes on the video so. I'll do this one card first and then just to show you basically how it works. And then if this doesn't work, I'll make another video on how to use Claymore Dual Miner. So, just to let you know, my 580 is only a 4 gig, and my 480 is an 8 gig. I thought the 580 would be better than the 480, but it's not actually. But it's not much worse. It's probably maybe 2 megahertz difference between the two. But mine aren't overclocked. Mine's just standard sets. I haven't overclocked anything. I haven't done GPU max, nothing. Because I use my 580 for gaming, and then my 480 I've just plugged in with a USB plug so I've used a um, I've used a USB extension plugged into my motherboard and then I have a extension card I plug onto the thing with my power supply the platinum 850 watt EVGA um, I am looking at maybe getting a thousand two hundred watt power supply and getting another two um, RX 470s because the 470s actually runs just as well as the 480 um, but they're quite expensive so I'm just going to see how goes. I think I might try and buy six 470s and set up a proper mining rig whereas at the moment I'm mining but I'm using my computer but I've got extensions so the cards don't get hot. I managed to if I turn up the fans slightly to about 50% then the cards only run at about 55 degrees and I've kept it running like that for a whole week at 55 degrees they don't get hotter than that so it's all about just I use the radiant settings but if you can get like a Reva tuner or a you know an overclocker card thing and you can then change the settings for your temperatures on that instead of trying to change it in the config file you can go onto that set that conf you can go onto that Reva tuner or whatever uh, NVIDIA uses, I'm not too sure, but you can go onto an overclocker and then like MSI overclock and then on that you can then physically change the temperature to set it to like say 50% and then the cards will run at a good temperature and they won't go and you can leave them running, it saves you trying to change all the config files, just use another program to run it and then once it's running, just leave it. So if you've got mine, if you're running, if you're running your, a rig then you probably should be quite clued up on it, but if you're not, um, you can get different programs you can use. Um, but for now, I'll just show you, I was waiting for this to benchmark. Once it's done, then um, I will show you how it starts mining. I'm only benchmarking one card at the moment, just to show you this is just a tutorial, because I've only got pretty much five minutes left. I'm hoping I can get it done in this, in, in this video. And then I'll make another video after this. I'll call it Nice Slash Miner or just call it uh, Claymore Miner Tutorial 2. Yeah, I'll call it Nice Slash Miner Tutorial 2. And then what I'll do is I will go more in depth on the Claymore Miner and other miners you can use or where you can find. I'll post links below. They won't be referral links, they'll just be 
links for different sites that you guys can use uh, to download miners depending on what coin you want to mine and what uh, graphics or setup you have uh, just to help you out. And there's lots of help out there, it's like what to mine, all kinds of things, but I'll post the links below and then you guys can use it to uh, help yourselves. If you need any more help, just post a comment below this video um, on if you want a different tutorial or something and I'll make a tutorial as it suits. So it won't be too long. So as you can see, I benchmarked Dagger Hishimoto, Kryptonite, Equihash, and it's doing Pascal, and it's going to do X11. But I'm going to stop it there, because I've done the first two. I'm not going to use Pascal and X11. I'm just going to untick those, because I don't have much time to show you. So I've benchmarked now Dagger Hishimoto, 24 MHz, Kryptonite, and Equihash. So now I click Close. So now, because I've benchmarked that clock, all I need now is I click Start. Oh. Let me choose a different work name, sorry. Uh, let's call it Bob. Let's call it, let's call it Mike. 256. 254. Start. So now it kind of <coughs> opens up the miner. It's a third party claim or dual miner. So it's doing a dual miner. Let's just see what it brings up. So it's got there, it tells you the pool. So it's not mining dual, it's just using the one pool. Just dagger Hishimoto, which is Ethereum. So now it's creating the DAG file, buffering the GPU, setting up a DAG file, and then what it tells me here, I'm getting 23 megahertz of dagger Hishimo, dagger Hashimi, whatever this Ethereum, which is it's giving me 1.67 dollars a day. It is it is less than if you mine Ethereum on its own. So if I go to here. And I go to what to mine, and then I go down to the bottom. I'm using one four eighty, and I calculate. I press one, and I highlight it. Calculate. It's giving me twenty eight mega hashes, but I think it's been overclocked. But mine hasn't. It's telling me E three M is giving one point nine four dollars, but <coughs> after electrical cost one point six two. So I think one point six two. So it's actually quite accurate. One point six six US dollars. And on here, regard to what to mine, it says 1.94, but with electrical costs, it's going to be a while, while 1.62. So it's pretty much accurate. That's why I'm using Night Search. It's easier, but you can do it the other way. So if I stop that, and then I go on to back on here, I've got a couple minutes left. If I go on to, um, mining pool hub. if I go to mining pool hub, Another pool I use, mining pool hub. I'll go to Ethereum. Um, you can set up accounts here, it's free, just thing, and then you can do dual mining. So you just highlight that, copy that, change the whatever where you're working, put your worker names in. This pool here will be 252055, will be 2055. Sorry, let me just check between uh, mining pool 2055 will be. I presume it's going to be Sire. This is for switching. But if you go, yeah, 2055, 2055, 2055, yeah, it will be Ethereum Classic, sorry. So, yeah. So, that's just nice hash miner basic tutorial. Thanks. Bye.